Hello, everyone. Welcome to our show. I'm Angeline, and I'm Sam. Sam, do you remember life without a smartphone? Okay. Or I guess if you're old enough, a cell phone. <laughs> yes, I do remember. I'm old enough to know what snake the game is. Oh, so. I am too. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if we should be celebrating, but <laughs> yes, the game Snake. They yeah. actually have like a. I think a new version that you can kind yeah. of download as for an smartphone. App. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Snake I will one, yeah. sure download it. <laughs> <laughs> so for many people, a mm-hmm. smartphone is probably something a lot of people can't leave the house without, no. right? <laughs> Do you remember when you got your first cell phone? Yeah, I, I got mine when I started high school. It's uh, Nokia three three one zero. Okay. So yeah, I remember I dropped it in toilet. I washed it and I threw it away a few times, of course by accident,、uh-huh. and. It was still working. Oh, you know? so it makes me wonder why my iPhone is so fragile. How? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. If you put your cell phone, well, if you put your iPhone in the toilet right now, no, I don't think it would work. <laughs> yeah,、no. and especially not if you washed it. You even washed <laughs> yeah, your washed cell phone.、Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Wow.、Yeah. Okay, so I got my first cell phone when I was fourteen.、Mm-hmm. So the year I started high school. Okay. Okay, so the same as you. Yes. And it was a Nokia. Yes. I think back then. Everybody got Nokia. Yeah, that was probably the only phone available,、yeah. and maybe the brand Motorola. Did you hear about、uh, that yes, brand? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So it had an antenna. Do、okay. you know what those antennas yes, are? Yes. It was like that metal <laughs> rod, and it sends signals on your phone. You you can't even see these on phones anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then like it had a green screen. Yes, it wasn't a color、yes. screen. And then again, only one game, which was、yeah. the snake game that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I feel so old. <laughs> I know. Oh my gosh, I think we should stop talking about this because now they probably can kind of guess how old we are. Like, <laughs> okay, so we better get on with our lesson today. Okay, so welcome back. And、um, today we're going to take a look at a few sentences,、mm-hmm. right? We're going to translate a few sentences, and then we also have a paragraph that we're going to translate. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, 那马上看到我们 Part A， 我们这边有这个单句翻译哦。那马上看到我们第一句的这个中文的提示了。他说呢，直到我开始上高中，我的父母才允许我有智慧型手机。Okay, so that sentence can be translated into English as, "My parents didn't allow me to get a smartphone until I started high school." Okay, so this is the same as us.、Yes. We didn't get a smartphone <laughs> until we started high school. Not really smartphone. But, oh, a、uh, yeah. cell phone. Yeah, a right, cell phone. right, right. <laughs> okay, so we use the preposition "until" to indicate a time when something will happen or become true. It often follows the grammar pattern: subject plus verb or be verb plus not. Dot 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 plus until and then your the rest of your sentence continues. For example, Jerry did not realize the importance of exercise until he got a heart attack.、Mm-hmm. Okay,、um, until can also follow the grammar pattern. It is or it was not until dot 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 that subject plus verb. For example, it was not until Jerry got a heart attack that he realized the importance of exercise. 嗯哼，好，所以呢，刚刚 Angeline 就有解释了这个 until 的用法。until 呢，你可以这个这个 it was it is not until OK， 直到什么时候，我们就可以使用 until 这个字。那这个句子里面呢，我们同时也用到了允许哦。允许这个用法呢，在英文里面我们可以常用几个动词。这几个动词呢，分别是 allow、permit 跟 let。OK， 那这三个动词呢，它的中文意思呢，都是表示允许。那它们有什么区别呢？首先呢 ，allow 跟 permit 呢，它通常是搭配不定词，我们后面再加上 to， 再加上原。行动词，但是呢，在语义上面呢 ，permit 比这个 allow 呢，它更加的正式哦。比方说呢，正式什么意思？比方说像是政府在布达一些法令、布达一些命令的时候呢，我们常常会用 permit， 这个时候是比较正式的。举例来说呢 ，the city government doesn't permit people to park here。OK， 市政府呢不允许人们在这里停车。那 let 呢，它的实义动词用法就不太一样了。我们是 let somebody， 后面不加不定词，我们直接加上原形动词。这个字呢，在口语之中比较常。使用哦。举例来说 ，the children ask their parents to let them stay up later on Fridays and Saturdays. OK， 孩子们呢，拜托他们的父母允许他们在周五和周六晚上可以来熬夜到晚一点。<laughs> okay, so the word permit can、mm-hmm. also be used as a noun,、mm. and we would say permit. Okay,、yes. so as a noun, it's permit. So a permit is an it refers to an official document that shows that a person is allowed to do or、mm-hmm. have something. For example, foreigners need a work permit in order to work in Taiwan. Okay,、right. so the permit 这个字哦，我们当成。
名词的时候要念 permit， 那呢，它就可以当成一个正式的这个允许。比方说，像刚刚我们讲说，外国人在台湾工作，他们需要有一个这个工作的这个这个许可证，让他们在这边可以工作。这个是 permit 当做这个名词的用法。那马上我们可以看到我们第二个句子咯，中文的提示就说呢，他说目前他们限制我使用智慧型手机，这个他们呢是他的父母。那唯恐呢，我可能会对他上瘾。So let's translate that sentence into English.、Mm-hmm. It says, "Now they limit my smartphone use for fear that I might become addicted to it." Okay, 好，所以呢，在这个句子里面，我们看到后半段，他说，唯恐我可能会对他上瘾。这个唯恐，或者我们这种比较常说，以免以免什么事情发生。这个时候呢，我们就可以使用例句的这个 for fear。Okay, for fear 的用法呢，我们可以在后面加上 that， 再加上一个子句。那这个 that 呢是可以省略的咯。那后方的这个子句呢，我们用 that 引导这个子句呢，还有一个事情要注意，就是呢，它通常是要使用这个情态助动词来引导。比方说，像是 might、may、could、would 等等这些叫做情态助动词。他们通常呢表示这个可能 ，OK， 因为呢我们害怕以免会发生的这个事情，它还没有发生，可能会发生，所以呢我们就用情情态助动词来带出这个可能。比方说呢，像我们的例句哦，他说呢 ，For fear that I might。Become addicted to it. 这边呢，我们就用了 might。那这个句型呢，我们刚刚说 for fear that 后面加上子句，我们也可以换成 of 后面呢再加上名词或者是动名词。比方像我们课文呢，它就可以改成 for fear of me getting addicted to it， 或者是呢，我们可以说 for fear of my addiction。那类似的意思，我们除了 for fear 之外，我们还可以用 in case 这个片语。We should take umbrellas with us in case we get caught in the rain. 我们应该带着雨伞哦，以免被雨淋湿了。Yeah, that's ha- been happening to me recently、yeah. a lot. It's been <laughs> randomly raining all、yeah. over Taipei. So annoying. Oh yeah, <laughs> and if you don't have a rain,、uh, if you don't have an umbrella, you're you're pretty much in trouble because it's been it's been pouring rain. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we did talk about this word addict、mm-hmm. quite often、um, in just now. But、yeah. if you're addicted to something, it means you like something so much that you can't stop doing or having something.、Mm-hmm. A lot of people are addicted to their cell phones or their、yes. smartphones. Phones, right? Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to always have your smartphone with yeah, you at all times? I have to. I have to at all times. Have my smartphone with me. Yeah, yeah, even when you go to the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's almost like their smartphone is an appendage to their body. It's like yes, an yes. extra yeah, arm or attached something. Attached to my arms. Yeah. Okay. And then there's also the word addict. Okay, addict, which is a noun, and it is used to refer to a person who is very interested in something and spends a lot of time doing. It. So take note that you put the thing that the person is addicted to in front of the word addict. For example, Marcus is a video game addict. Okay, so、mm-hmm. that means he likes to play video games. He spends a lot of time、yeah. playing video games. He's addicted to video games. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> so Marcus is a video game addict. He stays up all night to play video games. Okay, let's take a quick break before we look at Part B. Okay, so welcome back, guys. In part B, we're going to take a look at another set of sentences about a sugar tax. Hmm. 好，马上来看到我们 Part B 的这个单句翻译了。我们看到提示哦，他说呢，为了处理国家的肥胖问题，英国政府呢于西元二零一八年四月对软性饮料征收糖税。Let's look at the English translation of the、mm-hmm. sentence. In order to deal with the nation's obesity problem, the UK government imposed a sugar tax on soft drinks in April 2018.、Mm, very good. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, obesity is a condition whereby a person is very overweight、mm-hmm. to the point that it is actually very unhealthy.、Mm. It can cause a lot of health problems. So obesity is a growing problem in many countries, especially in the U.S. and、yes. the U.K. So governments are trying their best to curb this issue. 嗯哼，好，所以呢，我们看到他说解决肥胖问题，肥胖我们就可以使用 obesity 这个这个单词。那在这边呢，我们说为了处理这个问题，为了达成什么目的呢？在这个句子里面，我们使用的用法，我们使用 in order to。OK， 那这个 in order 可以省略，我们可以直接用 to。那这边呢，它是直接。
接来表示目的了。那它的位置呢，在句子里面我们可以放在句首或者是在句子的中间。句型呢，我们就在 in order to 引导的部分呢，我们要讲的是我们要达成的目的。OK， 我们在这边是 in order to 或是 to 加上原形动词。那逗号连接的另一个部分呢，是讲为了达成目的而采取的行动。OK， 所以我们看一下例句 ：In order to get a good night's sleep。Ursula went to bed early. OK， 为了有这个一整晚很好的睡眠，所以呢 ，Ursula 她这个早早的就上床睡觉了。那如果放在句子中间呢，我们就可以把这个 in order to 代换成 so as to， 意思是一样的。Ursula went to bed early so as to get a good night's sleep. OK， 她早早就寝，以便有一夜好眠。那除了这个 in order to 之外呢，我们也可以使用 in order that。那 that 后面呢，我们就不加原形动词，我们是加上一个完整的子句。Okay, I put some block on before going to the beach in order that I wouldn't get a sunburn. Okay, 我在去海滩之前擦了防晒乳，这样我才不会晒伤。那我们也可以换成 so that. Okay, I put some block on before going to the beach so that I wouldn't get a sunburn. Mm -hmm, that's right. Okay, so to impose a rule or a punishment or a tax means to use your authority、mm -hmm. to force people to accept it. So if the government imposes a tax or a surcharge, other than impose, we can also use the word levy, like levy a charge or fine on something. Our magazine gives us an example sentence: The judge ruled to levy a fine on the company for polluting the environment. Another thing to point out is that the word "tax" can also be used as a verb. For example, citizens are taxed according to their income. The higher your income, the more you're taxed. 嗯哼，所以我们看到这个税收这个字，除了你可以使用 impose 这个、呃、强制征收、征收这个税之外呢 ，tax 本身也可以当成一个动词哦。它呢就表示这个收征税的意思。那我们看到这个第二部分呢、哦，它这个句子怎么说呢？它说政府希望软性饮料制造商将会减少他们产品中的糖含量。In English, the sentence is translated as "The government hopes that soft drink manufacturers will reduce the amount of sugar in their products." Since the tax will increase the price of sugar, manufacturers might think twice about adding so much sugar in their products, right? As、mm -hmm. it'll increase the costs of their、yes. products. So consumers might even bear the cost or pay the sugar tax when they purchase soft drinks. Yeah, it it's might kind of like cigarette. Yeah, and and beer, right? Yes, beer yes, has yes. Alcohol, alcohol also has、yes. tax, right? So can you imagine if a, a can of Coke was the same price as beer? Which one would you go for? I would go for water. Water, <laughs> you're really healthy. <laughs> yeah. So actually, I find that this、um, this sugar tax is、mm -hmm. actually a very clever way to discourage yes, people yes, from yes. drinking soda.、Yeah. Right? Do you think it would work, Sam, in Taiwan? I think、um, no, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. No. Yeah, because we're so addicted <laughs> to sugar. Yeah. yeah. You can see, like, there's like. All the shops are selling sweet drinks. Yeah, that's like true. Like bubble tea with、right. brown sugar. Or, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Recently, that's the hype, right? With、yeah. the the brown sugar. That yes, that yes. drink is really really sweet. Yeah, actually, it's it's really hard to quit. I have to say. <laughs>、yeah. oh, <really? laughs> so what if what if there was a sugar tax on it though? Like what if. For every、um, drink that you bought,、mm -hmm. you had to pay another ten NT dollars. Do you think that would stop people from drinking it?、Um, I think I would still drink it. You still would? Yeah, I would still drink that. So <laughs>、uh, yeah. <laughs> 好，所以我们看一下哦，在这个例句的开头呢，我们讲说 the government hopes that OK 表示现在的希望 OK 希望什么事情，我们就可以用 hope 这个这个单词。那后面的句子呢，我们说 soft drink manufacturers will 怎么样怎么样怎么样。在后面的句子里面，我们是使用未来简单式，我们来指出未来可能发生的事情。注意到我们 hopes that 后面是用现在简单式来表达现在希望，而后面的这个句子是用未来式来表达可能发生的事情。两个句子合在一起呢，就是希望。那注意到，我们这边是使用 hope 这个动词哦。hope 呢，我们后面可以加上 that 来引导希望发生的事情。I hope that it stops raining soon. OK， 我希望雨赶快停。Me too. <笑> OK， 那注意到呢 ，that 后面的这个词句呢，我们不用使用。与事实相反的假设语气 ，OK， 注意到了，因为呢，如果我们讲的是 hope， 它的感觉呢是会发生的这件事情，虽然是我的希望，但是呢，它是会发生，很有可能发生的，我不是在许愿，所以呢，这个时候我们不需要使用假设语气。但是如果呢，我们是要许愿或者是祝福，我们呢可以用另外一个动词 wish。
wish 既然是愿望了，那它就不一定会发生。所以我们在后面引导的子句呢，就要使用假设用法。Okay, when he saw the test, Rick wished that he had studied more rather than playing with his friends. Okay, Rick 呢真希望自己之前有用功一点，而不是和他的朋友们在玩。但是呢，已经看到考卷，一切都太迟了，愿望不会发生。<笑> okay, it's not going to happen. 所以呢，我们要使用是和过去事实相反的假设。Okay, 那另外呢 ，hope 和 wish 这两个字，它都可以接上不定词，我们可以说 hope to do something， 或者是 wish to do something， 表示呢希望去做某一件事情。I hope to see you soon， 希望呢很快就可以看到你。Hmm. You're probably familiar with the word reduce, right?、Mm-hmm. Which pretty much means the same thing as decrease,、mm-hmm. though there is a very, very minor difference. We use the word reduce when we talk about lowering the size, amount, degree, or number of something.、Mm-hmm. Some examples of things that are reduced all of a sudden、um, include risk. And prices. Okay. On the other hand, decrease is often used when we talk about a decline that happens gradually over a period of time.、Mm-hmm. Things that decrease with time include population and unemployment rates.、Mm-hmm. So let me give you an example. If you want to decrease your waistline,、mm-hmm. you will need to reduce the number of calories you consume each day. Okay. So your caloric Caloric reduction, which is how much you eat, must happen all of a sudden. Okay, you need to stop eating that much in order to lose weight. So we use reduce, right? Okay. However, it does take time for your waistline to get smaller. So we use、okay. decrease. So, okay. Yeah. So like, if usually I eat three meals a day, and today I ate two meals a day, you're not going to suddenly see that my waistline gets smaller, right? No, but you reduce your meals. <laughs> yes, yes, I reduce my meals, but my My waistline will take a little bit more time to yeah, yeah, in the future. <laughs> yeah,、hopefully. in the future. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so we've come to the end of part B,、um, and we're going to take a quick break before we take a look at part C. Okay, welcome back. Let's take a look at Part C. But before we talk about what we're gonna, before we look at the paragraph,、mm-hmm. I have a fun fact for you, Sam. Okay. So, are you familiar with the holiday Thanksgiving? Okay, I was born and raised and、uh, spent pretty much all my life in Taiwan. So, Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving. Um, not not that familiar. Not familiar. But you <laughs>、yeah. do know that there is a holiday yes, called yes, Thanksgiving. Yes, yes, okay, yes,、yeah. and then turkey is a very big yes, part yes, of yes. this Thanksgiving. That part I know. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Thanksgiving is celebrated both in the U.S.、Mm-hmm. and in Canada. Okay. But the holiday takes place on different dates. Oh, really? Why? <laughs> Like how? <laughs> <laughs> It's weird, right?、Yeah. Well, in Canada, Thanksgiving is on the second Monday of October.、Mm-hmm. Okay, and Americans they celebrate Thanksgiving on the fourth Thursday of November. Okay, so it's. Pretty much a bit more more than a month apart, actually. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, a lot of people are wondering why does Canada and America why do they celebrate Thanksgiving on different yeah, days,、why? right? Because I mean, <laughs> Christmas we celebrate on the same yes, day. Yes. Yes. Easter we celebrate on the same day. Yeah, but why Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So rumor has it that.、Um, Because Canada is farther north than the U.S.,、mm-hmm. the harvest days arrive、yeah. earlier, so Canadians give thanks a lot sooner. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah so, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So today we're going to talk about an unofficial holiday. Okay. Inspired by Thanksgiving, called Friends Giving. Friends Giving. Okay. Does it have anything to do with friends, like Jennifer Aniston? Friends. Like... <laughs> <laughs> you mean the show Friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it it doesn't have anything to do with. The, the, the show Friends, <laughs> but it does have something to do with your friends, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> so Thanksgiving, as you know, is a、mm-hmm. pretty important holiday in the U.S. Yes, people get together with their families to eat turkey dinner with. All the trimmings. Okay,、mm-hmm. Thanksgiving dinner is not complete without mashed potatoes,、mm-hmm. cranberry sauce, stuffing, and gravy, which is what the phrase "all the trimmings" is referring to. 
Okay, so the phrase "with all the trimmings" is used to mean that many extra things are added to make it more special. Hmm. So, in we see this word "trimming," "trimming" this word, it can mean trimming things. So, when we talk about this holiday, or Thanksgiving, or Thanksgiving Day, if we say "with all the trimmings," it means that it's very extravagant, 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 very 好，马上看到我们第一个要翻译的句子哦。他说这个感友节，也就是 Friends Given， 它呢就是为了这些人而诞生的，导致一个非正式的节日晚宴。In English, the sentence is translated to "It is for these people that Friends Giving came into being, resulting in an unofficial holiday dinner party." OK， 那在这个句子里面呢，我们使用了这个强调的用法了。看到我们句子开头，他就讲述了 it is， 或者是呢，我们可以说 it was 什么什么，后面再加上 that， 再加上子句。这个呢，就是我们一个分裂强调句的用法。那我们呢，就把这个所要强调的名词、副词或者是介系词哦，它可以是一个片语或者是一个子句，我们就把这个东西呢放在这个 it is。干这个 that 中间，我们放在这个中间，这个就是我们要强调的东西。我们就表示说呢，哎，就是这个，就是他，就是这个人。OK， 要强调这个我们放在这里的东西。The phrase resulting in is a phrasal verb that means to cause something to happen. For example, heavy rain resulted in significant flooding across the region. You can also use lead to, bring about, contribute to, give rise to to say that A caused B. Heavy rainfall brought about significant flooding across the region.、Hmm. So, if we want to say that B is the result of A, we can use result, arise, stem from. Like in the example from the magazine, my uncle's poor health stems from years of him smoking and drinking. So, going back to our article, what we can say is that A. The fact that many Americans might not be able to celebrate Thanksgiving on the actual day caused people to come up with B, Friendsgiving, which usually takes place the weekend following Thanksgiving. Though actually, it can happen at any time before or after Thanksgiving.、Mm-hmm. In fact, you can think of it this way: you celebrate Thanksgiving with your family, and then Friendsgiving with your friends the week after. Sounds very nice. Yeah. yeah, you get two very big meals. Yeah,、so. <laughs> but then again, I guess we don't really need a reason to gather and celebrate with our friends, no, right? No. Anytime, anywhere. <laughs>、yeah. Friendsgiving just gives us an excuse to have a big feast, like you said, Sam. A big yes, feast with yes, our friends、yes. without feeling guilty. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at turkey right now. Yeah. Okay, 我们看一下我们第二个句子了。他说呢，一般来说，烤火鸡仍然是菜单上的主要项目，但呢，它是主人必须自己提供的唯一菜肴。When we translate the sentence in English, it reads: Generally speaking,、mm-hmm. roast turkey is still the main item on the menu, but it's the only dish the host must provide themselves.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so just like Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving would not be complete without a big turkey dinner. <laughs> <laughs> the expression "generally speaking" is used to show that what you are saying is usually true,、mm-hmm. but not in every instance. The statement that follows "generally speaking" describes a feeling or opinion relating to or Affecting the majority of the people or things in a group, we can also use words like strictly, honestly, frankly, broadly, roughly before the word speaking to lead into the statement that follows.、Mm-hmm. For example, if you want to tell someone your honest opinion about something, you could say, "Honestly speaking, the food at this restaurant isn't very good." OK， 所以呢，在这个前半部，我们就看到这个 generally speaking， 一般来说，那在 speaking 前面呢，我们就可以加上一些不同的副词，比方说 frankly speaking 也是一般来说，或者是呢 honestly speaking， OK， 诚实的说呢，这家餐厅似乎并不是这么好吃。那另外呢，在这个句子里面呢，我们也用到了这个助动词 must， must 这个助动词呢，它就可以表示义务或者是责任， must 加上原形动词，它的意思就是一定要。必须一定要做到的事情，那呢，它就相当于我们说 have to， OK， have to 就是必须要做的事情。那注意到呢，我们使用这个否定用法的时候， must not 是表示呢禁止，绝对不可以。OK， 它跟我们说这个 have to 的
否定呢 ，don't have to do something， 意思呢就不同了。don't have to do something 是表示说呢不必 ，OK， 你不一定要做这件事情，但是呢跟我们 must not 这个禁止呢，它意思就不一样了。比方说，我们可以说 ，students must not talk or use their phones during the exam. OK， 学生呢在考试期间禁止交谈或者是使用他们的手机。那 must 这个字呢，这个助动词，它也可以用在表示相当肯定的推测。它的意思呢就是一定。对现在的肯定推测呢，我们就可以使用 must 加上原形动词。那对过去的肯定推测，我们就可以使用 must 加上 have 再加上过去分词批评。OK， 比方说呢，我们可以造个例例句哦。This is Emma's bag. She must have forgotten it. 呃、uh, ， she must have forgotten it when she left the house. OK， 这个是艾玛的包包，她一定呢是出门的时候忘记拿了，一定是怎么样，我们就可以使用 must。嗯哼 ，So Friendsgiving is pretty much a potluck.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so a potluck is a communal meal where each guest brings a dish to share. So I actually really enjoy potlucks、yeah. <laughs> because everybody contributes something, right? Yeah, and it's interesting to see what everyone brings. Have you ever been to a potluck? <laughs> yeah, I've been to a potluck, but normally I just bring pizza. You, you know, bring I pizza. Brought, I I I bought it in the shop and、uh, I bring it to the potluck. Okay, so, so yeah, you did. Because、didn't... I don't cook.、So. <laughs> okay, that's still good. That's still good. Yeah. Okay, so we've come to the end of our lesson for today,、mm-hmm. but we'll take a quick break before we come back and talk to you. Unit Nine Translation November Sixteen. My parents didn't allow me to get a smartphone until I started high school. Now they limit my smartphone use for fear that I might become addicted to it. In order to deal with the nation's obesity problem, the UK government imposed a sugar tax on soft drinks in April 2018. The government hopes that soft drink manufacturers will reduce the amount of sugar in their products. Thanksgiving is one of the most important holidays in the U.S. People get together with their families to eat a turkey dinner with all the trimmings. However, many Americans might be unable to celebrate with their families for any number of reasons. It is for these people that Friendsgiving came into being, resulting in an unofficial holiday dinner party. Friendsgiving generally takes place the weekend following Thanksgiving, but it could happen at any time before or after. It's similar to a Thanksgiving dinner in that it's shared with loved ones, but many of the time-honored traditions are set aside. For example. There's a dinner itself. Generally speaking, roast turkey is still the main item on the menu, but it's the only dish the host must provide themselves. The guests bring the rest of the food, so the meal is more like a potluck. There is usually more alcohol at a friendsgiving than at a family dinner as well. Groups of friends have been doing this sort of thing for a long time. Though the word itself didn't appear until around 2007, in the last decade, Friendsgiving has become a recognized event that has been referenced on social media and appeared in TV shows. So、um, that's all that we have for today. Yes, yes, we're running out of time. Okay, so that's、um, that's Angeline signing off, <laughs> and this is Sam. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.